So today we're going to cross a pirate ship with a bulldozer. For science. Oh, and let's add some pokey things on the side. So of course we're going to take the ram. Look at that beauty. All right, for our first upgrade, oh, we actually got a really good one. This bottle of rum lets us gain damage, but it's also a feast item. And for every other feast item we get, it's gonna be stronger. So that could be really powerful, this run. We can already one hit these little rowboats, which is very satisfying. Now, the other limitations we're putting in ourselves for this run is we're not gonna take any projectile weapons. But like any good pirate run, we're definitely gonna start by finding a new weapon. There's not too many we can take, but the ones we can get are gonna be powerful. We're gonna be relying on a bit of luck. At least we can just bulldoze some of these little rowboats on our way over. The other thing I wanna increase is our movement speed. I think that'll be really helpful. We didn't get movement speed, but we did get chance to critically hit, which is also nice. I feel like movement speed is good because being able to ram things at high speed just sounds like a really good time. The other thing we're probably gonna need is some armor as well. Oh, like that, that armor just saved us. Okay, we found Ramstein's shipwreck though. Uh, it looks like Ramstein was actually trying the same build that we were trying, although he didn't have very much luck. Okay, they just touched me. Now, I'm actually gonna increase our armor. And that's because we are very weak to attacks from the side of our ship. Anything from the front, we're generally fine with a ram, but if we get touched on the side, we're definitely gonna take damage. If we get enough armor though, ships should just bounce off the side of us. Oh, well, another chance for some crit damage could be nice too though. We've now got Ramstein's shipwreck, which is actually awesome because now we get an upgrade for our ram. And that means we get a short speed increase every time we ram enemies. Like so. <laughs> oh my god, it's actually a big speed increase. Uh, which is going to be perfect for going to our next weapon island, which turns out is down this way. Oh my gosh. Alright, we got another rum. This is the same item we had before, and because it's a feast item, it's going to buff the first rum we had. So that's actually pretty big. Because our ram's upgraded, we actually get a pretty good speed increase moving between islands as well. As long as we've got things to bulldoze through, we're going to be moving pretty quickly. Okay, let's take some more armor here, definitely. I mean, as far as bulldozing pirate ships go, I think we're pretty much on the money already. The main thing is we've got no real good ways of causing damage and the weak spot we've got on our side. So I think we can kind of get two birds with one stone if we get the right weapon. And we've got our first merchant ship chest. So we'll see what we get here. Actually, this could be a good one. The intercepted letter. Every time we defeat a merchant ship, it'll drop two chests instead of one. And we're already at our next weapons cache as well. We've still got to be careful though. Oh, okay. Our armor's saving us a lot there. Especially now that there's these explodey ships around too. If we hit them with our ram, it's just going to explode on us. So we actually don't have a good way of dealing with them right now. It's all down to this weapons chest. I know it's got the item we need. Beautiful. It does. We've got the sabers. This means that we're going to get sabers on both sides of our ship. Those little weak spots that we had before, completely gone now. And actually, I want to go to one more weapon island with our next treasure chest. And we've got another rum. Let's take that for sure. Our damage is going to be massive soon. Okay, let's just take the expressway to the next island. <laughs> All right, look at our little boat. God, it's like a, a little party boat. Everyone's waving their little wands off the side of the boat while the beats are pumping. At least now we can give these little explodey boats a little bit of a tickle and they explode. Just a little tickle. This cannonback aisle is not going to be helpful for us though. It's going to give us a weapon that's a projectile. So yeah, we get this Tortuga, but we can't take it this run. So let's take the plus 50% XP, which does mean we get another upgrade straight away though. And from this one, let's take some more armor. Nobody needs turn speed. We're only going in one direction and that's straight through whatever's in front of us. Okay, off to our next island. There's definitely some great items that we need as well. So I hope we run into some merchant ships on the way. And we're getting pretty close to 14 minutes remaining as well until the boss spawns. So we've got plenty of time to make this build overpowered. Okay, I think we're close to the island here. There's lots of boats. Ah, here we are. All right, the next weapons cache. Let's get this quickly and get out of here. Oh my God, all the bomb boats are here. Ow! Okay, I did not mean to go through like that. We've got another feast item, which is massive actually. So this one gives us max health. All hams increase your health. Everybody knows that. And explodey ships we need to get rid of. Ow, I took a lot of damage. Really need to be careful of those bomb ships. But we got our weapons cache. Hopefully it's got exactly what we need. It doesn't. But the other thing we're able to take, because it's not a projectile, is this trail of flames, which we can leave behind our ship. So that's going to be pretty useful as well. Now we're like a bulldozer that can punch through the enemy lines and leave a trail of fire so they have to walk through it to come after us. I mean, it's pretty overpowered, right? 
But for our next island, let's try a treasure island this time. Now we can really start to upgrade ourselves. And a little bit of movement speed here I think will be nice. Oh, and there's a merchant ship too. That's perfect timing. Come here. So we should get two treasure chests from this merchant ship. For the first one, we're going to take this Ramstein Spyglass. It increases our damage by a fraction of our ship speed, which is pretty nice actually. And for our second, we got the best item in the game, the Conqueror's Cross. The reason this is so good is because it doubles the stats of all items right next to it. So every one of these damage items are going to be doubled in value, as well as this health item. And we've got two slots left if I find good items to put in there. So just from putting that in there, our damage has gone up massively on the two weapons we've got, and our health has increased by 200. Oh, that barrel was really close. How do those pirate swimmers just bounce off our ram and keep coming back for more? Strongest enemy in the game. Next item, I think let's just increase our damage a little bit. Okay, we're at our next island. It's got some buried treasure. And the sea creatures seem to love it for whatever reason. They're all very stuck as well. Okay, we got our buried treasure. Let's take some max health. That way we finally linked our flames up and it gets all of the bonuses now. Oh, a red health bar's appeared though. This pirate ship wants some of us, but let's just absolutely rock him. He melted really fast. And we got a little crew member, Oliver Ironjaw. Ouch. This time, why don't we go to an unknown and see what's there? Oh my gosh. Let's just bulldoze everyone that's right here. All right, and the same again, which is just so much fun. Okay, I see a merchant. Oh, we just obliterated that merchant. And so we've got two more chests to get. The best thing here is probably this empty cargo. So we can gain movement speed for every empty linked slot we've got. We're not using all the slots over here right now. So if I put it right here, that means for every empty slot around it, we get extra movement speed, which is plus nine. And for our second chest, okay, let's take this curse wood. So we heal two health every second. Now we're like the bulldozer that can regenerate itself. It's going to keep punting boats away to get the speed boost. We're doing some pretty sizable crits as well, even just with our ram. And a little bit of extra health there is nice as well. Okay, we're very close to this island now. An island village. All right, let's take some extra armor. And that gave us Alexandra the Red. Welcome aboard, I guess, Alexandra. <laughs> Under eight minutes remaining now, so we really need to get these last few upgrades we need. And hopefully not take too much damage like I did just then. So let's go and find some treasure. Oh my god, I did take so much damage. I've got to take more health, big time. If I can stay out of danger, I can just slowly regenerate. Okay, we just stumbled across these weapons, Cash, and I am nearly dead. I've only got 70 health left, but we may as well see what's here while we're going past. This is going to be really sketchy, though. Somehow we didn't die. Okay, stay out of danger and regen health. That's the goal right now. Oh, there's some health up there. Hold on, I've got to do a U-turn here. All right, we got our weapons cache first of all. Oh, we got an upgrade for our sabers. That's huge. And they get lifesteal on them. Oh my God, that's perfect. Oh, look at them. They're awesome and red now. That is so good. And we got some health at the same time. Things are really looking up. I don't know how much the lifesteal is, but I mean, I seem to be getting health back pretty quickly. All that armor we've got is really helping out as well. And we'll take some more chance to crit. Okay, we found the next buried treasure. Let's just see how much damage we can do ramming everybody. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, this build is really paying off right now. That's just so satisfying. Ow, that exploded right on me. I still want to make sure we get to full health before we're too reckless. But I'm feeling very strong again. And from that island, we got a damage increase. So I'll take that. We don't really need any weapons anymore. So let's just keep checking out what the treasure islands have to offer. By the time we get to the next one, I might even be full health. Who knows? Who would have thought these upgraded sabers are so strong? I had no idea they had lifesteal on them. We'll increase our max health a little bit while we're here. Oh, is this an island I've been to? Oh, there's another weapons cache we haven't been to that we just came across randomly. Ow, okay, <laughs> that was a lot of damage. Wonder if I can just life steal my way back to full health. Oh yeah, that's so good. Now it doesn't even matter if I go through these bombs. We can just gain our health back almost instantly. Look at that, we're back up to 2000 health and we can get this weapons cache, but we can't take anything because they're projectiles. So let's just skip that and get the experience from it. And our other upgrade will be chance to critically hit. So I'll take that as well. We're going to be pretty close to 100% crit for everything. Our swords definitely have 100% chance to crit and we must have murdered a merchant ship in there somehow. <laughs> Okay, now we've got a chance to add some extra upgrades. We're going to take the lantern, which means we can light our enemies on fire. That is huge. 
And with the second chest, oh man, this metal hull would be really good. It would double our max health, but it means we wouldn't be able to get any healing anymore. And I feel like our regen is the most powerful thing about us right now. So we're going to take this Heart of the Kraken. We knock back nearby enemies whenever we haven't turned for one second. So because we're a bulldozer, we actually just don't need to turn around at all, which is quite nice. I do want to murder this ship though. I've seen enough of you. Okay, they keep running away from me. I'm just going to keep going straight down here. Oh, let's just move across here and melt everything. How about that? Oh my god. Okay, I think we're invincible. <laughs> I mean, how is this not invincible? Everything just gets set on fire. This big ship's about to go as well. So yeah, I mean, we've pretty much got about 100% crit for every weapon now, so I don't need to take more crit. But taking the crit hit damage could be good. By 25%, that's a huge damage increase. We're nearly maxed out with upgrades too. There's only one slot left. Oh, welcome aboard, Hugh the Hook, I guess. Okay, here's our next treasure island. This might be our last buried treasure, and then our ship's going to be fully upgraded. But I mean, right now, we can basically just bulldoze our way through any enemy. We do lose a bit of health, but we almost instantly regain it. For our final upgrade, we'll add in some max health and that'll be doubled because it's next to the Conqueror's Cross. Somehow, that means we're going to gain plus 650 health and 10 armor. When we decided to make a bulldozer pirate ship, this is almost exactly what I imagined. So, well done to us. The final thing we're going to find out though is how well we do against the final boss. I can't see that we're going to have too many problems if I'm honest. Oh, and because our hull's full, we get a thousand doubloons every time we level up. That's pretty nice. I wouldn't mind getting a few more levels, actually. Long gone are the days where we had weak spots on the side of our boats. Now we can just turn around in circles and not worry at all. Chaos. Absolute chaos. And one second left. The boss is spawning. Oh, here they are. Okay, boss. Kraken. Jeffrey. How well do you think you're going to do against us, Jeffrey? Oh, look at his health go down. Oh, it's so strong. All right, come here, Jeffrey. I want to touch you with my little pokey things. And actually, that really melts you. Oh. Oh my gosh, we didn't even lose any health. Okay, this bulldozer pirate ship build is not only extremely powerful, it is also very fun. All right, pals, if you enjoy the content, leave a like, leave a comment. And if you haven't already subscribed, what are you doing? Love you. Mwah. Okay, bye.